Good morning and thank you for coming. At the close of 2018, allegations of mismanagement and mistreatment of animals were made by an employee of the West Bank Animal Shelter against the director of the animal shelter. Upon hearing the allegations, I immediately authorized Human Resources to investigate the, uh, the issues alleged. Human Resource officials conducted more than 30 interviews with employees and volunteers of the animal shelter over a two-month period. While the investigation was underway, the director of the animal shelter and an animal control chief were suspended pending findings. In the process of del delving deeper into the management of the animal shelter, I learned that multiple positions at the shelter went unfilled for an extended period of time, important operational contracts with individuals or companies were left to expire, agreements between the parish and those doing business with the parish went unsigned, and standard operating procedures were ignored and defiantly not followed. The investigation was, has led me to terminate Animal Shelter Director Robin Bolio. As most of you are aware, I am prohibited from addressing specifics regarding the reasons for the termination because personnel matters must remain confidential. Furthermore, I have terminated two additional upper management employees at the Animal Shelter. They are the West Bank Shelter Manager and the Chief Animal Control Officer. I have also reassigned an Animal Control Officer to a different department. I have begun corrective actions. Employees to fill over 20 unfilled positions have been hired. We now have only three unfilled positions. We are in discussions with, the, with an internationally acclaimed animal rescue organization about, the, about a cooperative endeavor agreement to help with everything from evaluating operations at the shelter to screening potential volunteers. I have appointed a management team consisting of my Chief Administrative Assistant, Dr. Diane Roussel, Paul Berg, East Bank Manager, I'm sorry, Paul Berg, the Assistant Director of the Animal Shelter, East Bank Manager, Angie Robert, and West Bank Interim Manager, Charlene Millett, to oversee shelter operations while I complete a search for a new director at the Animal Shelter. We have completed all personnel evaluations at the shelter that were overdue for review. All delinquent contracts have been managed Pro uh, properly and are now signed. All unsigned agreements are now signed. Cooperative endeavor agreements are being drafted and adopted to allow rescue groups to work within the shelter. The standard operating procedure guide is being rewritten by managers of the shelter along with members of my management team that I have appointed to oversee operations and members of my executive staff. Once completed, a policy conference will be held with each employee of the shelter and will be tasked with reading and understanding the policies of the shelter. I have put volunteer and adoption programs under the authority of employees coordina coordinators for those positions. The Pet Point Data Management System is a useful tool at the shelter and I have authorized the management team to complete training of all essential personnel on the system so that we, so that we can fully implement its advantages. We have also developed necessary accountability measures for foster and FOSPIS programs and those measures are now fully implemented. I am disappointed to learn about the culture and work environment at the animal shelter. I have taken all necessary steps to prevent further mismanagement and also to empower all employees. Today's actions should send a clear message that any and all employees will be held accountable for their actions. On the issue of the animal mistreatment, while investigating matters, uh, my investigative team learned that in 2017, four dogs were euthanized by a four contract veterinarian without following the proper protocols. I have turned the details of that incident over to the Sheriff's Office to investigate. While I am disappointed in the actions of the leadership of the animal shelter, I remain encouraged by the terrific work being done by the employees and countless volunteers of our animal shelters. I am pleased that the new multi-million dollar shelter has been opened by my administration on the West Bank. We care for over 8,000 animals each year with a very dedicated staff and an, and an impressive volunteer base. We are also working to identify new land to build a new East Bank shelter to replace the nearly 40 year old shelter we have on the East Bank. There is no acceptable reason for the mismanagement at these shelters 
and personally, I will not tolerate any instances of abuse or neglect at these shelters. I'd be happy to take any questions at this time. Thank you. Mr. Yanni, was the, the determination come about because of this, uh, this alleged sexual harassment, or was it because of the mistreatment of animals? It's, it's come about of all the findings that we, that we have looked into. What can you say about the empty positions? How, how many out of how many? We had about we had about 20 of 53 yes. of 53 positions that were unfilled. Mm -hmm. Those 20 are uh, well, 17 of those 20 are now filled, and we have uh, three three in the process. Were those throughout the entire organization? Were they up near the top, near the bottom? Uh, the bottom? throughout the whole organization. Yeah. So, President Yenny, why was this uh, like this for so long? Why weren't the vacancies filled, the contract signed, why did it go Well, we, this, uh, this was all uncovered through the investigation. This is something that, that has you know, gone from the top to the bottom. That's why it took us two months to do it. Dr. Roussel, who's the chief administrative assistant who oversees that, has been, has been noticing things for a while, and that's pretty much on top of the accusation. That's what kind of stemmed us to do this. And we have relentlessly uh, instructed the shelter to make changes and make corrections. And through this investigation, we were it was able to show that those corrections have not been made, standard operating procedures had not been followed, and there was just complete mismanagement at the top. What can you say about the contracts that weren't? Uh, what types? Of it was uh, uh, food contracts, uh, grass cutting contracts, and all of that has been taken care of. And at no time were any animals not fed or anything like that. I mean, we were able to step up and make sure those were done. Has the parish been sued yet over the allegations of sexual harassment? No. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure, make sure the right person answered that question. <laughs> When you say that the four animals were euthanized by, by outside contractors, is that what you're saying? We have, a, we have uh, contractors that are vets on both the East Bank Shelter has one and the West Bank Shelter has one. And the accusations came forward that we've turned over to the Sheriff's Office for that investigation of the improper euthanization of those animals. So are you saying veterinarians did not do the work? At this time, we, what we did learn through this investigation, we do believe that there's criminal activity, so we have turned that over to the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, and I, I'm going to instruct Mr. Yenny not to respond any more to that because we don't want to impede their investigation at this time. Mr. Yenny, can you comment at all on um, IG McClinic's uh, audit report on premium pay, which says in 2017, Paris government spent over $9 million in such pay? The report was just, just um, given to us yesterday, so I have not had time to review the whole report. We've had countless meetings with the Inspector General. And again, those reports are based on, you know, those, those employees that are on standby or overtime time that he refers to as premium pay are employees that have to be on call as needed to handle situations that may happen after hours. So that means that employee has to be close to their home, that employee cannot uh, consume alcohol, that employee has to be ready at a moment's notice to handle any situation that may come our way. And I'd love to tell you that all the problems happen in Jefferson Parish between the working hours of eight and five, but that doesn't happen. We have numerous occurrences overnight that uh, these employees have to go out to. And we certainly expect you know, the, the best, most qualified employee to go out there to deal with that situation and know whether or not we can handle it with our in-house crews or whether a contract has to be um, called upon. But uh, we have a response in his, uh, in his report of where we are. And we will look at any positions that we do feel that might have been excessive, not that we have come across any yet, but any that may have been excessive, we will certainly evaluate those. And, um, and if we need to you know, pull those from the list, we'll certainly do that. Kurt? And you had the top people you, who you terminated, the three. Are other people from within going to fill those spots? Well, we're doing a search for the director, and, and those spots those spots have pretty much been filled. I mean, obviously, the assistant director, uh, Mr. Paul Barger, is, is running the facility right now along with this management team we put in place, and that's how we're identifying any issues that might still be lingering with the shelter. from the Louisiana SPCA. Oh, yeah, and Diane reminded one from the uh, Louisiana SPCA filled, filled one of those. The West Bank manager. West Bank manager's fine. Is it fair to say that the issues, because there's been a lot of stuff that's come out since, and I'm sure you, uh, you know, heard from a lot of people when you were interviewing uh, folks in the department. It's fair to say that the issues included uh, management issues with the management of the people there and then also treatment of animals issue, how those things played out and how animals were treated. Well, it's, it, I can say this. 
you know, the good news is the, the save rate at the shelter, you know, is, has been greatly in increased. I mean, uh, upwards of almost 82%. I won't be happy till we get to 100%. But if you continue mismanagement and, and, and any mistreatment of employees or anything that may, be going, may have gone on will certainly cause for probably issues with animals. And we don't want that to happen. That's why we've made these changes. That's why, we've, that's why this investigation unfolded and gave us the answers I needed today to make the right decision. And this is, this is a decision based on evidence, Jed. It's a decision based on investigations. This is not about social media or comments said, said at public meetings. That this, is, this has been about following the facts to, to the source of the problems and making sure we did our due diligence and, you know, pages and pages of, of, of interviews and comments and statements have led us to this direction and, and we, we're at a point where we can really make this facility go in a much better direction. Again, decades ago we were almost 100% kill shelter decades ago. So to have an 82% save rate is great now, but we need to take it to 100% and the only way that's going to happen is the right management at the top along with working with all of these volunteer groups that want to come and make sure pets are adopted. So Mr. Yanni, what about employees who brought some of these allegations uh, to the parish who were uh, suspended or quit because of a, what they described as a hostile environment, working environment. What's, well, what's the status of those employees? Well, it, 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 I mean, any employees that brought information to, you know, toward us, we took that information and investigated it. I mean, the employees that were terminated through this investigation were found of some guilt having done something that, that caused problems in the shelter. So any, I mean, again, we talked to, as we said, almost 30 employees volunteer groups, all of what they have said has been very forthcoming to help us get to the decision we're at today, Mike. Are you still moving to terminate the contract with the veterinarian? That is on the council agenda tomorrow. And you're still pushing that? Yes, I am. And Drew, I'll, I'll specifically, this is why. Because these are three of the four animals that were set for adoption that were euthanized under his authority at another shelter that he had no authority. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Wait, wait. He was the West Bank veterinarian. And these were these were East Bank shelter that's animals. That's why he didn't have the Absolutely. Well, thank you all very much for coming, and thank you for your comments. Can you use a picture? Sure. Do we have a picture? We can take it. Yeah, we yeah. can send it to you. Okay. Thank you all.